Next up on example three, find the arc length of the graph of y equals the natural log cosine x from zero to pi over four. E, 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 this little thing right there. All right, should be fun. Okay, so you know what the routine is by now. We need to take the derivative of the function that we're given. Y is equal to the natural log of cosine x. So the derivative of cosine is a u prime over u where u is our interior function there. Okay, so uh, that derivative is going to be negative sine over cosine. You could leave it like that, but I'm not gonna. I'm going to turn that into a negative tangent x. Okay, now let's manufacture our formula. Let's assemble it uh, from 0 to pi over 4, I think. Square root of 1 plus beep negative tangent x quantity squared dx. All right, and then uh, I will rewrite this a little bit. I'm not going to write a new line. I'm just going to do it right here on this one. I'll put the square inside here. That's going to get rid of the negative sign as well. And uh, yeah, there we go. Um, let's see now. I got a square root of one plus tangent squared. Is this is this a composite function that I'm going to use u substitution on? No. As a matter of fact, this needs a trig identity. And if you don't remember the trig identity, start with this one. Sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1, right? The Pythagorean identity. And I need to get tangent from that. So I get tangent from that if I have sine divided by cosine. So if I divide both sides of this thing by cosine squared, like Christmas. On the left-hand side, I have tan squared x plus 1 is equal to 1 over cosine is secant squared x. So I will replace 1 plus tangent squared with a secant squared. And I did that because then the square and the square root are going to cancel. How convenient. Square root of secant squared x dx. So when I cancel these things out, it would technically be the absolute value of that. But over this interval, that secant is going to be positive. So we do not have to worry about it. Secant x dx. All right. So the secant x, that's the one that has very special... Um, very, very special antiderivative. If you don't remember it, it is a natural log. It's the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. Look it up. Plus c, except no, not really, from 0 to pi over 4. All right, and then uh, let's put our FTC into action. Natural log. That looks like a limit. Well, <laughs> yeah, I just want to take a limit. Natural log absolute value of the secant of pi over 4 minus the tangent of pi over 4 beep, minus the natural log. Here it goes again with limit. <laughs> secant of 0 plus the tangent of 0. That is a safe stop, but I am going to get a little bit of practice with my, let's see, uh, I've used, oh, how about magenta? with my unit circle stuff, you know, just in case it's a multiple choice thing and I, I, I actually have to work it out by hand. Okay, so pi over four is what we're working with right there. And secant is one over cosine. And this is, it's square root of two over two, but square root of two over two came from one over the square root of two. And I wanna think of it like that because secant is just the reciprocal of that, which is gonna be the square root of two. So this is a square root of two. Stop writing with a laser. And then, of course, tangent is just a 1 at pi over 4. The secant of 0, that's over here. We got 1 comma 0, so it would be the reciprocal of 1, otherwise known as 1. And the tangent of 0 is 0. So cleaning this thing up, I have the natural log of the absolute value of square root of 2 minus 1. Deep. 
and then minus the natural log of absolute value of 1. Well, the natural log of 1 is just 0, so you can get rid of it. And I do believe that the square root of 2 is bigger than 1, so you can get rid of those square roots is what I mean the absolute value did I say square root I don't know whatever so the natural log of the square root of two mm, is it minus one? Oh my god really really plus plus do you see this I, I I put it here but I didn't put it on this one at least I caught it before you did anyway so it's definitely positive there and let's put a magenta box around it <laughs> 